we've got a box. I got a notification on Instagram saying that it was the anniversary of a video that we did ages ago when we unboxed a birch box. And uh, Lizzie doesn't get birch boxes anymore because... I didn't get good stuff in them anymore. Because that was literally like 16 years ago now and neither of us do any kind of subscription box. Until now, this is for a chunky monkey like me. The best subscription Ooh. box possible. It's called, what's it called? Snack Surprise. We get snacks from off in the distance countries and this is heavy as out. I'm really excited to see yeah. what's in here. One of my favourite things about holiday is trying all the crisps and stuff that I've got over in different countries. And I've missed that for the last couple of years because of COVID. So this is like a fun subscription box and it scratches that weird itch of having weird crisps and stuff. Isn't it heavy? I know why it's so heavy because it's got a drink in it. We, we went for like a premium one, haven't we? So we get, I think it's 24 snacks plus and a drink. So we don't even know what country we've got yet. That in itself is going to be an exciting reveal. Oh, I thought it would be in a box in a box, but it's not. Portugal? I don't know anything about Portugal. Nando's, I'll tell you something. It gives you facts about the country. So I can tell you all about Portugal. Portugal has the oldest bookstore in the world. How old is it? Uh, it was built in 1732 and it's still operational, so you can still go and buy a book there. Lisbon was struck by one of the most powerful earthquakes in European history on November 1st, 1755. Okay, it's all very Whoa. exciting. What we got? So I'll tell you what, in here it tells you what you would get in a mini box, oh. what you get in the original box, so that would just be the mini. So there's mini original. And then the fat bastard one, which is where you, fat get, where you get everything. Clearly because we swore in this, we aren't sponsored by my surprise. No, I just want to eat nice food. Just want to eat yeah. some crisps and that. Oh, ruffles. Um, ruffles remind me of Mexico. So already I'm like really heartbroken. Sabor a presunto. Presunto is kind of like prosciutto. So yeah. it's not ham flavor. Yeah, wavy potato crisps that feature the salty and savory flavor of the traditionally cured ham. And sem gluten, which means without gluten. No gluten. More crisps. We've got some Lay's. It's got like a tomato and onion on it. It's a tomato flavoured crisp that will make you feel the taste of the Mediterranean farm. Ooh. Mmm. Farmyard crisps. Cow poo crisps. Mm -hmm. You know what? Europe loves tomato crisps. Yeah. Yeah, ketchup flavour stuff. Ke ketchup huge. stuff. They we love were in ketchup. Bulgaria in 2019. Mm -hmm. And everything was ketchup flavoured. Ketchup flavoured, yeah. I miss holiday so much. Yeah. More crisps. Super Duradas. Duradas. Baratas Fritas. Oh. Oh. Chur churix. It looks like something like sausage. That Lizzie is. Lizzie is an expert on sausage. Yeah. That is Portuguese pork flavor sausage. The drink. Sumol ananas. That is pineapple. So it looks like a pineapple kind of crush thing. Lightly carbonated with real, real fruit pulp. A truly Portuguese drink. You want to try that? <laughs> Should we tell everybody one of your irrational fears? Can we stop shaving me? Lizzie's like scared of juice yeah. and pulp and fruit. If it's in a can, and fruit salad. I'll try that because it's pineapple. She won't. I'll, no, I will. I promise. We'll Peanut. Right. Oh um, God, I can see that and I want it. Do you know what that though? Oh, okay. It's not what I thought it would be. You've got no clue, oh. do you? Right. Bejenos das caldas? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it looks like so, cinnamon -y. No, Sugary? small crunchy balls bathed in sugar and lemon syrup. That sounds cool. That sounds dirty. I like it. <gasps> These look amazing. Pala pala balha. They're like really, really, really thin potato salty chips. Uh, traditional fine cut potato sticks. They've been an, they've been accompanying Portuguese meals since 1972. Try them with a hot dog. We'll have to try them with a hot dog. The kid's face. He's embossed to be on that packet. No oh, swearing. What flavour though? Is it? And they're all smashed now, so... Are they just ready salted flavour? It looks like it. Mm, I like them. This is very up your street. Um, some kind of coffee chocolate. What? Chocolate negro y branco con cafe. Sign me up. Delicious velvety dark chocolate combined with a coffee flavour. Yeah, this is for me, not for you. Chipicao, original. It looks like a croissant filled with chocolate cream. Yeah. A croissant made with soft dough and delicious cocoa uh, cream filling you. Oh no. That's exactly what I said. Filling you. No, it doesn't. It gives you the energy you need. But yeah, that sounds nice. Whoa, these are, these are really heavy. Browse de mel. They're really filled kind of soft biscuits. Oh, they are heavy, aren't they? They're very dense. Dense. Very dense. <laughs> Apparently, very these dense. are traditional Portuguese honey-flavoured biscuits 
made with rich ingredients and spices, perfect with a cup of tea. Ah, oh, yes. Um, we're not going to eat all of these tonight, obviously. Yeah. Um, I think we might have to try them. Eh? Are you going to make the tea? Uh, no, we won't make the tea. I won't make the tea. A bisque, just some weird little biscuits that are almost like peanut shaped. Bisque. Cow Translates to cat's tongue biscuits. Cat's tongue biscuits. These look like Portuguese Smarties. They sound like Portuguese Smarties. They're Portuguese Smarties, aren't they? Pintarolas. Yes, they are. Colourful, delic delicious milk chocolate chips. Yeah, a childhood classic. Like some weird hanging like umbrella sweet. That looks like a lint um, carrot you get at uh, Easter. Carrot? But it's just, yeah. all it is is just uh, chocolate. Solid chocolate. Portuguese chocolate. Yum. Tartletetetets, tartletetets. It looks like an opened up deconstructed pop tart, like pastry with a bit of strawberry jam in. Yes, yeah, so it says tartlets with delicious and rich. Tartlets. Tartlets? With tartlets. Tartlets. With it's strawberry a friends filling. reference for anybody who likes friends. Tartlets. What? Yeah. Now Monica's got the guy who's stoned at her. Uh, he's like a. I think he's a restaurant. Tart for yes. Tartlets. Chicklets. Is that chewing gum? Pink peach chewing gum. Oh, well, I'm not having that. Canela? I don't know what canela is. Chiclets? Oh, yeah. Stro no. <laughs> St strong cinnamon flavoured chewing gum. Sugus. <laughs> Sugus. They're basically like star starboard bursts. Whoa, how old am I? How old am I? <laughs> Concentrated fruit juice. Oh, it's like. I'll try. What flavours are there? Does it tell you? Let's say multi flavours. Oh, I'll have the lemon ones. This, I'm going to guess, is marzipan. Oh, is that for me then? Regina? No, completely no. wrong. Hang on, it might there might be two Regina's in here. Regina George. There's two, yeah. So this one's a classic. Almonds. I was yeah, chocolate bar with almonds. Almond is marzipan. Yeah, made by the most cherished Portuguese chocolate brand across generations. Nougat. But it looks like peanut brittle. Nougat. Made with pure honey and peanuts. Mm. Piero de Castro snowflakes candy. Three is they... invisible by two, so what we're gonna do? Fight for the last one. It says here an unmistakable fruit flavour. So, so I'm probably going to get all three. Well, I'm yeah. No, I'm going to try them. Penha! Carmelos Soba Fruta, another fruity one. They really like their fruit stuff in Portugal, yeah. don't they? Classic fruit toffees. Fruit toffee? Fruit toffee. Pineapple chocolate! Yes. Is that another Regina one? Delicious and creamy pineapple and passion fruit chocolate. Some fruity snacks. Oh, goodness. Interdosis Sordito Brijo. These are glossy strawberry and awesome. finger-shaped gummies with a unique texture. Mm, you're gonna love those of them. Oh, they're all mixed together. Yeah, like Harry, like Harry Bow, like Lizzie's and that kind of shit either. No. So, yeah. And the last things are Gorilla. Gorilla. Gorilla gum. Little, little Gorilla chewing gums. Yeah. Chewing it's marked the history of the tasty world of chewing gum in Portugal since 1975. We've included a, flu a few flavours. They've included three flavours, which is sure. the minimum amount of numbers. Tutti Fruity. Nope. Has been for you. Passion fruit, probably not. Banana, yeah. And that's it. That's our, um, what's it called? Premium. Snack surprise. Snack surprise, premium fat lad and fat last box. So we'll try the biscuits, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Get the kettle on. First thing I'm going to do, you give them a good old sniff. Very familiar smell, that. It's quite Christmassy. Yeah. It's quite like, have you written Trixie? You have them biscuits. Oh yeah, it's like cinnamon. I think cinnamon sugar on them. Very soft, very moist, very sweet. I like them. I quite like that. Mm. Very dense, like I said, dense. Mm. Have you just given the dog a bit of biscuit? No. I can see on camera that she's chewing. I don't know what she's chewing. Should we like give them like give them like a score out of five? I think five is too. No, I think it needs to be out of 10. Out of 10, I would say an 8 on those. I don't know if it was an 8. Two eights for the... Roastamel. Dunk test. Holds its shape superbly. Holy shit balls, they were not wrong. I'm not much of a dunker, but that's, it's nice. It I think turns, I'm still going to say an 8. It's still, it turns into almost like a pudding. Mmm. 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 Decided to try the Sumol Ananas, the pineapple lightly carbonated drink. That smells so sweet. I think that's going to put you off. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. It's very, very lightly carbonated. It's like barely carbonated at all. Um, Lizzie doesn't drink it with cans either. 
That's enough, thank you. That's oh, I'm scared. It smells like sweets. It smells like pineapple cubes. Oh, I can already feel like the sickness in my tummy. <laughs> You promised to try the drink, Lizzie. Good girl. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Marks out of 10 for the sumo. Right? I don't like fizzy stuff or fruit stuff, so, but it was pleasant enough. I had two sips of it and I'm done. You sound like you're about to cry, so. <laughs> a solid four and a half. Four, four and a half. <laughs> um, I'd say a six, it's all right. It was very sweet and. It's, in, it's really, really, really sweet. Um, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. It's a new day, yes it is. I'm gonna try the ham flavoured uh, ruffles. Very excited for this because I am a crisp fiend. Wow. Crack them open. Very, very like a no ham stock cube, but very faint. Very mm. mild. It'd be nicer with gluten. Six out of 10. Five out of 10. Oh, controversial. Yeah, pretty bland, but. Worst tricks you reckon? She didn't wag her tail, so she clearly thought it was a bit naff. Super doradas, patatas, fritatas. Sausages. Oh, they smell powerful. You don't get many in a bag, like, are you? Do you? Standard, isn't it? Mm. No, those are really nice. I like those a lot. That's a proper sausage mm. flavour. Eight out of ten for me, like. Yeah, that's a good, like, nine out of ten. Mm. Crisp. Champion. Really good. What about Chris Trixie? Does she not get a taste of Ten out of ten. What are we have now? The Regina George Classic. Where have you been this morning? Uh, I've been for my COVID jab, my second one, so I'm all jabbed up. I'm half jabbed up. Hay fever is killing me more than COVID at the minute, so I wish there was a jab for hay fever. But this will make you feel better. Chocolate. Yeah, let's hope so. Chocolate. Should I take a top? Oh. oh, it's all broken. It's, no, it's just conveniently halved. Nice, like, diamond shape. Funny that you mentioned Toblerone. That is quite Toblerone-esque. Mm. It's alright, it's a bit. It's missing the gluten. I don't know, maybe a six for that. It's just a bit plain. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, what is that weird aftertaste? Nuts. Maybe like an artificial sweetener type. Maybe. Not nuts. Yeah, it would taste better with some pineapple in it. It's time for the pala pala little sticks. They look quite greasy. Greasy? greasy. They're just like shreddy, ready, salted crisps. Shreddy, ready. Shredded, ready, salted crisps. They're so thin. Thin and spindly. Do you want know to remind me of it? When you go to posh restaurants and they do like parsnip and potato. Yeah, like, like a... Oh, garnish. Parsnip. Yeah, garnish. I was looking forward to these the most, but they're a little bit disappointing. Very, very bland. I like them because I like ready, salted crisps. I don't like salt and vinegar. I don't like... Mm. I smell the bread in the head. You spat on the back of my head. <laughs> Did you feel it? What's the problem? <laughs> a six out of ten. Do you yeah. think they would be a perfect, perfect accompaniment to a hot dog? You know what? No, I don't. I think the what Portuguese. What about crunched on top with some crispy onions? Mm. Now you're talking. Yeah. I really like them. Seven out of ten. They're very, very Moorish. Um, just not very flimsy, but yeah, fine. Yeah. It's a very long video to go. Yeah, these are mediocre. I really like them. I didn't put a whole lot of thought in how I was going to edit this. Like what we were going to do was have like one or two things a day and then piece it together, but that is going to take way too long for my impatience. So what we're going to do now is just blast through the rest of the box and whoever's sick first loses. So we're going to go with the last savoury bit, that is the Lay's tomato and onion crisps. Quite a powerful smell. Uh, Lay's, I think it's the same company who are walkers over here. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very strong flavour. Quite complex. Yeah, digging them. Mm -hmm. Good. So we're going to have the pineapple chocolate. So weird. I was on about you being the weird one with fruity stuff, but this is really freaking me out. This is going to be amazing. I can sense it. I think it's going to be really good. You can just smell the like the fruit in it. Mm. That's very subtle, but really nice. It just takes that sweetness off it. That's not for me. Not mm. even trying that. I like that. We'll package that up and I'll put that in the fridge. Cat's tongues, we're gonna try now. I'm gonna predict these are like the biscuits that you get with coffee. Do you know those little biscotti, super dry? Not a lot of flavour. <laughs> they're like dog biscuits. They're not far off dog biscuits. I thought these were snakes at first, but they're actually like fingers and toes, which is even better. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Um, 
cola bottle, surely? Nah. No? Nah. It's just a cola bottle. Is that supposed to be a finger? It's a finger. It's a bit like a sore penis. They all taste the same. It's that soft jelly sweet thing. That, yeah. Do I have to try one? You have to try one. It smells really shabby. Oh, I hate things like this. I'll finish it for you. No? No. We can breathe. No, it's actually not that bad. Mm. I feel like I'm conquering some fears here. Wow. That's actually not bad. Wow, what is it? It's the fact that I can taste the cola bottle that's been in it with it that's like stressing me out a bit, but... Yeah. The cola bottle tasted very much like the finger. Ooh. Well, there you go. Yep. Give the tartlets a go, eh? Dave loves jam tarts, and uh, I've tried to make some not so long. <laughs> yeah, these are like jam tarts, but like really yeah. overbaked, like hard. Like mine. <laughs> mine, though, the, the, the jam was like oozing out. <laughs> hey, Viva, love it. I really like that a lot. It's like a deconstructed jammy dodger, but better. Uh, so these are the, the, the dark chocolate and coffee. You're looking forward to these ones? These are the one thing that I'm looking forward to the most. Oh, well, they mm. don't look like a thought they're going to They look like little coffee beans. They look very dusty. They've got cocoa powder on them. Oh, mm -hmm. pretty velvety to the touch. Very sensuous to the touch. <laughs> oh, oh, they have to feel good. Oh, wow. The inside is like a minstrel without Min a shell. Yeah. Bainos de Calos. These look very intriguing. I think it'd be good in a bowl with loads of custard and ice cream. Mm, ice cream. Wow. Oh, they're really light. Mmm. I thought they were going to be a lot firmer. I thought it was going to be more pudding y. <laughs> pudding with the sugar dipping. It's like shoe pastry somehow, but not. It's like a lighter shoe pastry. That's really, really nice. There's a massive bag. I mean, mm. you could quite happily sit and just like munch on them. Should I try the, the nougat? A nougat. Nougat. A nougat. Definitely, it's romantic. <laughs> Nowhere near as sweet as I was expecting it to be, but. I love peanut butter or anything. Mm. That is really nice. The last thing we're gonna try, this is gonna be the the strong cinnamon chewing gum. The mixture of flavours going on right now in my mouth. Flavours, textures is real. And uh, this was a bit of a bad idea. Quickly get your head out of the goddamn box! <laughs> Run up my damn back, you. <laughs> oh that's nasty. Why? Oh, the more you chew yeah. it, the stronger it gets. That is quite the powerful taste of cinnamon. Not the best thing to end this video on. That is easily like, the least pleasant thing so far. So what's, what's been your favourite? Um, the favourite, so the, um, the coffee chocolate, really, really nice. And the first thing we tried, those little... The biscuits. The, the biscuits. The honey biscuits. The honey biscuits, the they were really, 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 really good. Um, Why am I still eating this? <laughs> I like said. all the crisps, even the bland crisps were good because crisps are awesome. Yeah. But I think if we just got this and didn't film it and just had it to enjoy over the period of two or three weeks, it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. But considering there's over 20 things in there, there's only one thing that I would say I wouldn't try again. Um, yeah. You know, it's just nice to try something new that you can't get at home. It is. It's always fun. Well, so we didn't give like, each individual thing a mark out of 10 like we first planned. What about an overall? Oh, 10. I think for everything that you get, the different types of things you get, because it's not just, a, well, I was going to say not just a crisp box, but you would love that. But yeah, you get a bit of everything, so I would give it a, like a 9 out of 10. I have to agree. Um, yeah. I think the, the level of excitement that I've felt just about <laughs> having weird and wonderful stuff, for me, is worth easily a 9 out of 10. Going to keep this up for a few months, I think. Whether or not we'll do a video, I don't know. Uh, but we'll definitely eat everything. Apart from the cinnamon chewing gum. Apart from the cinnamon chewing gum. Boxes full of sweets in them.